So now we have gone through two genetic conditions whose symptoms can be alleviated briefly by gene therapy. As you can tell from our case examples, gene therapy unfortunately at this moment is not a very effective treatment for genetic diseases. There are six factors that have prevented gene therapy from becoming an effective treatment and we will now go through each of them below. Firstly, gene therapy and its effects are short-lived. This is due to problems with integrating the therapeutic DNA into the genome. Cells also rapidly die and since gene therapy only treats a batch of cells at any one time, this prevents gene therapy from achieving any long-term benefits. Patients will have to undergo multiple rounds of gene therapy. Secondly, there is a risk that the vector will trigger off an immune response, hence decreasing the effectiveness of gene therapy. This is because the vector is a foreign object and the immune system is designed to attack foreign objects. Furthermore, the immune system's enhanced response to foreign objects it has encountered before makes it even harder for gene therapy to be repeated in patients. Thirdly, patients may experience problems with viral vectors. There is the possibility of the viral vector recovering its ability to cause disease once it's inside of the host. There is currently an inadequate understanding of the biological interactions between vector and host. Fourthly, at the moment, gene therapy is unable to treat genetic disorders caused by the combined effects of many genes, such as heart disease. Conditions that arise from mutations in a single gene are currently the best candidates for gene therapy. Fifthly, the random integration of the therapeutic DNA into the human genome may lead to instantaneous mutagenesis. This may lead to an inactivation of genes in both tumor suppressor alleles or lead to an upregulation of the expression of a proto-oncogene, and both will lead to cancer. Lastly, gene therapy may lead to inappropriate gene regulation, for instance in the disease called thalassemia, overexpression of the transferred gene would cause a new imbalance of globin chains, but low levels of expression would be inactive. It's difficult to ensure that the expression of the transferred gene is at an optimal level. At this checkpoint, you should be able to describe some factors preventing gene therapy from becoming an effective treatment for genetic diseases.